alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price. Two minute drill on this Tuesday. We'll start with practice, a couple of position changes. Cayman Marley working at linebacker and then Trinity Bell working at defensive line. Yeah, I don't think a shock on, on either one of those deals. Of course, Trinity Bell is still recovering from the torn ACL. He's in a non-contact jersey. Cayman Marley came in late, had the hand injury, wanted the opportunity to work at receiver, got that off all along, and I think this is just a look-see. You know, where can Cayman Marley help Tennessee? I think that's what this staff is trying to figure out because they didn't recruit him. And I think that's a little bit with Trinity Bell as well. Bell makes more sense in terms of that position move. Not that Cayman Marley doesn't, but Cayman Marley was pretty adamant he wanted to play offense. But I think he's looking for opportunities to get on the field. We'll see what the evaluation is of those two guys at the end of a bowl practice. Got to hear from Alex Gullish. The word of the day, evolve. Yeah, and, and I thought it was interesting that, that Alex Gullish talked about not just evolving um, in year two, just the natural progression of growth, but, but evolving and changing because they know now that there's a resume of this offense, there's tape of this offense for 12, 13 games. Look, a lot of defensive coordinators are going to spend their time this offseason trying to figure out how to stop Tennessee. Much like a year ago, a lot of people spent time trying to figure out what do you do with Lane Kiffin's offense. You know, Tennessee moved the ball against everybody they played, Austin, whether it was Georgia, Alabama, whoever. So Tennessee is going to be on the forefront of a lot of off-season studies by teams, and Alex Golish knows that and says you've got to continue to evolve. You can't just be the same team because people are going to have answers to the problems you created this year. you got to create new problems. Hendon Hooker back. Uh, his, his roommate, Tyler Barron, one of the first to – uh, find out the news. Said he just kind of casually told Cedric, or, uh, Josh Heupel walking off the practice field um, that, that he was coming back. Um, Cedric Tillman, a little more suspenseful with his <laughs> announcement as uh, you know he will announce in his own special way here in the uh, coming days. Yeah, and, and I think you know with Hooker it was pretty obvious. And, and there's not a guy more low key at the quarterback position than, than Hendon Hooker is when you think about it. I mean, he just he casually, you know, put it out on Twitter on a Sunday afternoon in the middle of NFL games and everything else going on. Oh, yeah, let's run this back and do it again. He tells Josh Heupel walking off the practice field casually, yeah, I'm coming back. You know, let's just go to work. No big deal. And, and I think that's who he, he is. I think that's his mentality. Uh, I do think he probably looked at a guy like Kenny Pickett, who he knew from the ACC and saw how much he improved his stock. That, that, that's something I'm sure that he evaluated and looked into. Um, needs weapons around him, and we'll see how these young receivers develop. And obviously, uh, Cedric Tillman, I do think, will be back, and, and that's going to be a big part of what Hendon Hooker's success is all about next year. He is Brent Hubbs. I'm Austin Price for the Two Minute Drill.